My name is Kia Brown, and I am a journalist, screenwriter, author, and studying actress. I am also a disabled person. I have cerebral palsy, which just means that when I walk in the world, I do so with a limp and limited motor skills, and I find that I live in a world that is not designed for people like me. What I'm here to talk to you today about is self-affirmation and the power of it. Now I know that self-affirmation gets a sort of bad rap, you know? A lot of people think that it's not real or that it can't really do anything or that it's supposed to be a one and done sort of thing. But the truth is that everything that is worthy of work is worthy of work because you have to keep at it, you know? And for me, self-affirmation is that worthy work. Self-affirmation is the thing that allows me to keep going on bad pain days when my legs and my arms are aching, on bad mental health days, <laughs> when things are going well even, and I'm excited about a new opportunity or doing something like this, being able to share what I've learned about self-affirmation with all of you. So what I like to do for my self-affirmment is say four things that I like about myself. Now there is a sort of rubric to this. I say three things that are physical. So something like, I like my nose, I like my ears, I like my smile. And then I say one thing that is non-physical. So for this purpose, I think my one non-physical thing today is that I love that I'm loyal to my friends and the people that I care about and that I make sure that they're good so that they can be the best versions of themselves. And I wanna make sure that the people that I love feel that love all the time. Now, usually I say four because four is my favorite number, but you can honestly do as many as you want. I mean, I personally would go with four um, and really all it takes is either, what I like to do is stand in front of a mirror and speak these things to myself, making direct eye contact with my reflection because I wanna make sure that the love that I'm pouring into myself is actually being poured back into me. I wanna be able to see myself looking back at me and receiving these compliments and these affirmations as I do them. So what I will do either daytime or nighttime, sometimes if I'm really needing it, I'll do it both during the day and at night before bed as I will look into the mirror, <clears throat> which is funny because I actually have one staring back at me right now. I will look into the mirror and I will say, Kia, today I like your nose. Today I like your ears. Today I like your eyes. If I'm really feeling myself, I'll throw in one extra physical thing. So I can say like, today I like your nose. Today I like your ears. Today I like your eyes. And honestly, you know, the hips and the thighs aren't bad either. And then I will say, you know what I also like about you, Kia? is that you really care about the people in your life and you wanna live in a world that is more accessible for disabled people and more accessible for people in general, just be being able to live in a world that is designed for you and also caters to you because you matter just as much as anyone else. So I'll say those four things and I let them sit for a second, you know, maybe 10, 15 seconds. We can do it right now. You can count with me. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten once the 10 seconds are up usually what i'll do is repeat those affirmations so i'll say it again today kia i like your ears your nose your eyes and your hips and thighs aren't bad either. And I also like that you're loyal to the people you love and that you're fighting for inclusion and that you really, really, really wanna live in a world where everybody is celebrated. Once I do those four things, I usually get ready for the day or I'll, you know, get ready for bed at night and just curl up in this very bed that I'm sitting on right now and fall fast asleep to the sound of rain on my phone. Um, I know that it's not as easy as just saying 
you know, for things because things can be awkward, you know, talking to yourself. I mean, we all do it, but we all feel weird about it a little bit, right? Well, what I try to do is make sure that when I'm giving myself these affirmations, I'm alone. You know, whether that's in my room in front of a mirror or in the bathroom in front of a mirror or just if I have no mirror access at all. Sometimes I use my phone and just record myself saying kind things so that I can remember that in my lowest moments. And, you know, even when you're feeling good, I find that the extra pep in your step that comes with self-affirmation is that you can do it when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're somewhere in the middle. Um, but I often will like cheer myself on, you know, I use them to really cheer myself on and move myself forward and make sure that I am being as kind to myself as I would want others to be kind to me. So if you want to join in with this, you can do it right now. I can give you, you know, even the opener. I'll give you two things that I like about you, a stranger. I like that you're here right now, pressing pause and being here to do this work of taking care of yourself. I bet your smile is amazing. And I'll even give you a bonus. I bet that there is somebody in your life so happy to be a part of it that just hearing a hello from you makes their day that much better. I really, really, really hope that you're sitting at home or wherever you are in the world and you try these self-affirmations and you believe in yourself the way that I and the people who love you believe in you. I'm rooting for you always. I'm so happy to be here. And again, if you want to revisit this video, here's what I want to leave you with. Saying four things that you like about yourself can do no damage. It can only lift you up and give you the confidence boost that you so deserve. So say your four things day or night, sometimes both if you want. And remember that who you are as you are is absolutely enough. See you later. Bye.